Ew, check out that water. It's so gross. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Bissell Little Green Multi-Purpose Portable Carpet and Upholstery Cleaner. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here. Check it out, very generic and straightforward. Has our product information on it and that's about it. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our product literature right here, complete with our registration card. We have a thank you coupon and we have our user guide and manual walking us through everything we need to know what's in the box, how to assemble it. You will have to follow four simple steps to get everything all set up. Then they have different cleaning formulas for you, how to fill the clean water tank, getting everything ready to clean, how to actually clean and use your cleaner, and then after cleaning care right here, followed by some troubleshooting information for you and their customer service and contact info if you ever have any questions. Next, you can see we have the included cleaner. We have the spot and stain with Febreze. Then you can see all the different accessories and parts and pieces that we have right here. And lastly, we have the little green itself. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. Here's a look at the unit from the top. Check it out, everything looks great. Front and center, we have our large grip handle that's very easy to hold and carry. Then you can see we have our clean water tank followed by our dirty water tank and a little prompt right here to lift up to release the tank. And you can see at the top, it's open. We can easily dump out the dirty water. You can see our full indicator is labeled on both sides and it's even labeled as a collection dirty tank for us. You can see it from the very bottom. You can see what it looks like with the tank removed. For the clean water tank, this one just pulls gently right out. And you can see on the tank, we have our water level indicator, formula indicator right there for us. And it even says solution clean tank. Again, two nice spots to hold and grip as needed. And you can see this just twists to remove. This is what it looks like with the tank uninstalled, and then it just slides and snaps right back in place. Now let's go ahead, let's turn this over. You can see from this side, we got the Bissell little green logo and branding, our power button we can toggle on and off. Look at it from the side. Now you can see it from the back side. We do have our hose right here that we're gonna use with our trigger. You can see our cable storage and management right here built right into the unit. Some additional product information. Now you can see it from the other side. And lastly, let's go ahead, let's look at it from the very bottom. Now let's go ahead, let's get this set up. Set up simple and straightforward. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the included clip to this side of the unit. So right below the logo and branding, you can see where this is gonna go. And it just simply slides in place. So just go ahead, line it up and just press in. There we go, we now have the clip installed. Now we're ready to install the bracket on the back side of the unit. So you can see what the back of the unit looks like right here. And here's the bracket that we're gonna be installing. Pay attention up at the top right here, we have the screw that we're gonna need for installation. So we can go ahead and gently remove the screw. Line it up as shown right here with this little lip going in first. And now you can see everything's lined up as it should be. And now we need to install the included screw with the Phillips head screwdriver. Now you can see we got the bracket fully installed right here. It's fastened firmly in place. The last step is to go ahead and attach our cleaning head right here. So you can see how everything's gonna line up and just gently click right in place to remove it. Just press this lever and then pull everything back out. You may notice too, we have an additional cleaning head right here. This is the hydro rinse to clean our hose out after every use. So now let's go ahead, let's fill it up and try it out. All right, so first up you can see we cleaned half of our car mat right here. So the side to the left, you can see that has all been cleaned and it looks great. It is a night and day difference between the left side and the right side of the mat. So you can see what it's gonna look like when you use this cleaner, especially on something as old and as worn as these car mats that have never been cleaned before in 12 years of owning the vehicle. So it really made a substantial difference in cleaning. Now let's go ahead, let's do a little bit more cleaning and finish the mat. So when using the little green, it's as simple as making sure your tank's full and turn on the power button. And now you're all set and ready to go. You can see from afar, as I press our trigger down here, how it's gonna apply the solution and then just set it on the mat, press the trigger and go. It's that simple. And you can see what we're sucking up right here. Got some really dirty spots. 
check that out, that's disgusting. So you'll know that it's clean when you're only sucking up clean solution back through the little green. So gross. Look at all that dirt coming up. It's disgusting. So check it out now, you can see we have the whole mat cleaned. Honestly, these mats are so disgusting, they could use a pressure washing, but this did a remarkable job. Now let's go ahead, let's continue to try it out in other applications. Now we're gonna try it out in the car, we're gonna clean the driver's side seat right here, and you can see the upholstery is pretty well worn and very dirty. This has never been cleaned before, and this car is a 2008, so it's definitely been a while. Let's go ahead, let's try it out. So you can see it's still sucking up a little bit there, but we can add some more juice. We'll add some in there too. Get the cracks and crevices down there. We don't even have to wait for it to fully dry. You can see it's a pretty substantial difference between the dirty side and the clean side. That is remarkable. Circling back to the floor mat again, you can see this is fully dried and everything looks really nice. Obviously, there's still gonna be you know decades of wear marks right here that are never gonna come back on the mat. And then we have some permanent stains because this has never been cleaned in over a decade but it looks so much better than it used to. I'm convinced you could start a car detailing business with just the little green. Unbelievable. Don't forget, you can also use this if you wanted to spot clean your carpet.
So the results speak for themselves. Check out how dirty this water is in here. It looks like coffee. It's that dark and black. That's disgusting. And then you can see all the other solid contents like hair that we were able to suck up with our cleaner. So the results speak for themselves. This little green Bissell cleaner works great. It does a fantastic job. It's super portable, easy to use. You can get different accessories depending on the version that you get as well to fit your needs. And I'm really happy with it overall. I think the biggest thing I'd wanna see change in the future is maybe even a longer power cord and find a way to keep it just as powerful, but make the unit a little bit quieter in regards to its noise level when it's running. Ew, check out that water. It's so gross.